with many discoveries made every now and then the gaps or the blanks in human evolution are slowly starting to be filled some of this progress stems from major advances in fields like study of ancient dna or ancient genomics while much has resulted from most recent fossils and discoveries made in africa and china today we will be discussing about the red deer cave people also known as the mysterious species of human in 2012 the discovery of the red deer cave people was announced cranial bones jaw bones and teeth were discovered from two cave sites located in southwest china in 1979 a partial thigh bone was also found in maludong which means red deer cave in yunnan province in 1989 study began decades later but what puzzled the finders and scientists is that despite the features of their bones and teeth possessing a remarkable number of similarities to archaic humans they lived only between about 14000 and 11000 years ago found from radiocarbon dating of charcoal scientists also added that whether they lived 200000 or 200 years ago They were truly unique and a real mystery and their anatomy was nothing like they had seen before in modern humans. Because of these unique features, it was difficult to say if they represented either a very early modern human population, perhaps one that settled the region more than 100,000 years ago and became isolated, or if they were a late surviving archaic species akin to a population of Neanderthals surviving in isolation until the end of the ice age in southwest china some sources even say they may be a hybrid of the denisovans and modern humans but attempts to sequence their dna have not proved successful they might even represent an entirely new species that existed alongside our own as recently as 11500 years ago according to a team of chinese and australian researchers studies conducted on the skull and teeth that were found gave no clear answer about which species they might belong to or whether they could be hybrids the thigh bone was also very different from that of modern humans it resembled very ancient species that lived approximately 1.5 million years ago The femur is very small and the shaft is also very narrow. From these and a few more features that they caught just from the femur, scientists reconstructed the individual to find that the body mass is only 50 kg, concluding that it was a small individual. Some scientists say they may possibly have been the youngest living pre-modern humans living in Eurasia besides the Neanderthals and the Denisovans. The distinctive features that differ from modern humans are a flat face, broad nose, jutting jaw with no chin, large molars, prominent brows, thick skull bones and a moderate sized brain. In short, they're anatomically unique among all members of the human evolutionary tree. Classifying them as a separate human species was still a very difficult step to take due to insufficient evidence but the odd appearance of the red deer cave people probably just tells us that modern humans are a very diverse species with all the information at hand there are still so many questions that need answers who exactly are the red deer cave people why and how did they survive for so long Why were they only found in southwest China? And if they lived so long alongside the modern humans, did they interbreed with each other? All these questions, but still no answers. What do you think of this, guys? Let me in on your thoughts by dropping a comment in the comment section down below. And if you enjoyed this video, do not forget to hit like and subscribe. For more related videos and videos on human species, do check our channel out. So till then this is Halabella and see you soon in our next video